verde. Yeah. Yeah. El carrete no está bueno, no recoge bien. No recoge, no, le falta freno. No, no, no recoge. Entonces la línea no quiero freno. Apostarlo tanto. Damn. I'm making it. You got him now. There he is. Got him tired. Somebody's got somebody tired. Possible Cubera or Grouper? Grouper. Port the water. There you go, man. See if we got them. Raya. Uh, oh, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah. Second wind. No customer. You got it. Oh my god! Group it. Oh my god! That's a big sucker too. Holy, Holy crap! <laughs> That's a Goliath! I say, wow, I say, Goliath! Cuidado, cuidado, cuidado. Uh, holy oh moly! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh my god! Una cherna que le. How are you gonna get him out of the water? Yeah, Dakota. Yeah, yeah. Good, man. That's a good hey, work out there, bro. El líder está tañado. Lo van a subir. All right, hang on to this because he might freak out. Él, él no va. Él no. Él no se va mucho para abajo. Yeah. Good lord. Damn. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big one, brother. Yeah, no. What do you think, Victor? Bien. Bien, bien. <laughs> no, no dentist? <laughs> 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 that is insanity. All right. Holy! Wow, bro. No way, dude. Is that a Goliath? That's a Goliath, bro. I said it was a Goliath. They're saying it's not a grouper. That's yeah, a Goliath Grouper, dude. That's a Goliath Grouper. See, that's a metal, amigo. <laughs> wow, man, Goliath there, Grouper. There was no getting it back down. Oh uh, yeah, I bet. Got it deep on what? Bait? Yeah. We on a it was a ray, but the way it was like coming up. Wow, man. Look at this, you guys. Goliath Grouper. They couldn't revive it. Enormous fish. Yeah, couldn't get it back down. Wow. <laughs> All right, they're trying for the photo op. Look at this. Wow. There's a fish now. Woo -wee. I know there's going to be people on here in Florida. They're illegal to take out of the water, illegal to keep. Here they are not. We're going to take it back, feed the village with that guy. That's a fish there. Wild. Wild. What a day. Oh my God, it's a Goliath Cooper. That's crazy, man. That's huge. Yeah, we were thinking it was a group a grouper, right? Yeah. That's exactly what we thought. God, we handed it to him. All right, guys, so surprise, the end of the day, the other boat hooked and landed about a 100-pound Goliath grouper, for size reference here. Right now, we're trying to rig up a scale that we think will actually hold this damn fish off the ground. Let's see how much this thing weighs. Look at the bottom lip. There you go. Oh, 
111 pounds, 111.7 on the IGFA certified scale. That's a fish there. <laughs> Scott here, reel this in. Scott from Texas. Yeah. Got a fish about his size. Let's get everybody. It's gonna be a big hunk of meat. You're like a real butcher right now. This is... <laughs> it's about the same. Oh, that's gonna be good, man. Yeah, that looks like good meat. It's gonna be delicious. And this Goliath meat looks amazing. 111 pound fish. Normally you think that that's a really old fish, but these things get to 700 pounds, so really that's probably a teenager. Look at this. That's a big old hunk of meat. <laughs> Fillet like a toddler. Sad that she died, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna let it go to waste. Look at that. White meat, wow. This boat at Panama City, Panama, not Panama City, Florida. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Closing in on us. <laughs> There's one small part of one fillet. Yeah. Dakota here cutting out the cheeks. It's the best part of any fish, really. A lot of fish is not really worth harvesting them, but this guy's got some cheeks. Just like mama used to make. Yeah. See. Yeah. The other white meat, Goliath grouper. That's gonna be good soup. Don't you think we should do the wings? Like you did on that video for the reds? Yeah. I feel like that's a good chunk of meat there. Grouper wings. Who doesn't love Goliath wings? That's a lot of meat on there. Half of one filet. Yeah. All right, so we cut the carcass in two pieces, two halves, the head, and then the skeleton. That'll be two rounds of a huge pot of soup for everyone here. Crazy day. Never know what to expect out here in Panama, land of giants. We already know we're gonna get some flack for this video, but they're not protected here. It died anyways, we were not about to waste it. A lot of mouths, a lot of people are not gonna go hungry now. We'll be feeding the whole village. I'm excited, I'm excited to try it. All right, so we're gonna be grilling some grouper wings, this Goliath grouper wings. We're getting the fire started now, it's gonna go in the grill and the smoker grill uh, kind of combo thing that we use here. And basically to start this, we're using propane to get some, some wood started so we don't have to use lighter fluid or any other kind of starter that's gonna give a weird taste to the meat. So we're gonna let that get going. I'll we'll show you how we're gonna do these wings. That will be because it is big. <laughs> now, we have a real lot of fire going. For size reference, some big wings. Roger. Uh, uh, uh. Goodness. Be some good meat Feels there. like, oh, it's gonna be good, man. On the redfish, this is my favorite part. Big hog of meat. Grouper wings. Wing night here at Los Buzos. We're gonna do these things with steak seasoning. La Doña. Steak seasoning, Montreal steak seasoning. They're kind of like steaks, and I don't think it's gonna really have the texture of fish like you would think. All right, so we're gonna score these guys since they're so thick. Oh yeah, that's gonna work. And make sure that they cook all the way that's through. With a chicharron. Oh that's, yeah, that's gonna be good. Look at that, that fat on top, man. It's gonna stay moist and juicy. And then probably towards the end, we'll s stick some little slits of butter in there right before we, we take it off. That's actually cutting pretty good. I'm, I was thinking it was gonna be all bony. No, I did man. bring a Pork knife. Yeah, but that's that's good meat in there. It's like three inches thick of meat yeah. with a layer of fat on top. That's gonna be good. It looks kind of cool. It does look cool. It looks kind of like pork there. I think it's gonna be a treat, you guys. It's kind of an experiment. We were kind of joking that like, oh, we'll just cook it, and if it's terrible, but I think it's gonna be good. This is this is being slowly won over. <laughs> 
Morris was very skeptical. He seems a little less skeptical now. But I think this is gonna be really good. We're gonna leave this skin side down for the entire cooking process. The skin on this animal is like, shoe you can make boots out of it, literally. It's super thick. I think it's gonna protect that meat. The, the flame's gonna be pretty harsh, I think, the heat. But uh, I think the skin's gonna protect it. Those fins will get nice and charred. And, and the top, I think, is gonna retain the moisture with this layer of fat on top. It's gonna be really good. Little butter, little lime. Whew. And we got the group of clients showing up today, new group of clients. We're not sure if they're gonna be able to stop and eat on the way here, so we're gonna offer them some of this when they get here, see what it shapes up like. But I think the fire's getting close. We're gonna throw it on here soon. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna throw this guy in there. Golly, brontosaurus steak. Flintstones cooking here. Try to put the fat part right over the main part of the heat on that far side. This is tail up there. You're gonna flip it and drag yeah. it so it don't get felt. There you go, right there. Perfect. Nailed it. Whew, it's smoking. I'm crying. She's so emotional. Goliath Grouper. How's that look? Scoot it in just a little bit so that tail isn't hanging over. Alright, what I'm gonna do, we got some good red coals now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna shut her down and let it we don't make it a while. So we're not stopping at the grouper wings. We're also going to be making soup with the grouper carcass. And basically the way you make soup is you start off by making a stock, fish stock, where you're basically boiling down the bits of meat that are left on the skeleton, the head, boiling that down with a variety of ingredients and using that to uh, make the base for a soup that we'll make later. None of this fish is going to waste. All 111.7 pounds of it are being utilized. And right now, it looks like they're just trying to defrost this head that accidentally got frozen over the last couple nights. We're ready for phase one. The head's phase two. First off, let's check in on our grouper wings, see what they're looking like. Ooh. Coming together. It does look, man, it looks like pork. Let's get it back shut. That's right. weird. Okay. Yeah. Now, a lot start, of smoke. Start with the easy part. Crying. Got their scraps off the celery. Key ingredient good stuff. Right, that's just for flavor. That'll come that'll all be strained out at the end. What we got there? Orange juice. Yum. Garlic. So celery, orange juice, garlic, and onion. Alright, so now we gotta get the beast in the pot. Yeah, that's a real challenge here. This is what Robert Bale says, the good stuff is all around you. We have a new challenge to do with this bad boy. Watch the teeth, they're still in there. A little bigger than your typical fish head for the soup. So let's see, let's check it against the pot. I'm thinking, uh, we need another plan. <laughs> Serious fish. Good success. Look at the meat on that. So we're basically avoiding the skin. We're not going to put the skin in there, but the bones and the remnants of the meat is what we're looking for. All right. So as Morris said, the, these pieces with the skin on it that we don't really want to use in the stock will not go to waste either. We're going to feed our pigs with that, and we'll end up eating that in the form of pork down the road. So man, they gotten big. Good stuff. Check this out, guys. All kinds of cool little things to discover here in the jungle if you just pay attention where you're walking. Huh. Also pay attention where you're walking here in the pig area for other reasons. All right, that's done. Now we're gonna head back to the lodge. Check in on our grouper wings, see what they're looking like. So while we got this fire going in the kind of grill smoker combo, Morse is gonna put our, our smoked fish tuna dip that stuff that we use. We're just gonna put marinated tuna in the top rack and let it smoke while our wings finish off down below. Yeah. All right. Smoke it off. Wow, look at these. Check on that. 
All right, so now we're hitting the grouper wings with butter, little tiny bit of liquid smoke, lemon, and kind of a tropical citrus seasoning. We're gonna base that all over this to A, keep it moist, juicy, and obviously just make it buttery. It looks amazing, smells amazing. Yeah, I think this butter is just gonna kick this up a notch. We're in for a treat, you guys. This is gonna be really good. All right, stock's about halfway to being reduced down enough. So for the record, guys, this is not our commercial kitchen back here by any means. We got a really nice kitchen inside in there. This is basically where we smoke pork, smoke fish, smoke chicken. It's kind of our smokehouse back here. We use it to kind of stage and prep fish, but don't mind the decor. The stock is pretty much there. We're gonna let it go a little longer, but those bones are pretty much picked clean. All the marrow and meat and everything else is kind of melted off there. It's gonna be some killer fish stock. More just saying, we could add a cream and some butter, make like a Goliath grouper bisque. A lot of different options you can use with this fish stock as a base. Great way to utilize more of your fish. Time to strain the fish stock. Taking the big bones out, then they're gonna kind of mash the rest of the stuff down through the strainer. You want the little, the little delicious bits. We're just trying to get all the big stuff out of there. And there it is, final product. Fish stock, fish broth. If you ever Man. tried to make soup at home and it didn't come out right, it's because you started with water, not this. That's right. You start with that, what we get? Goliath trooper fish broth. Might be the only people in, only gringos in the history of in the last 30 years to do that. Yeah, I'll never get by my food tonight. Look at these things. Hold on. I'm going to do the little ones first. Ooh, wee! Look at this. Look at this behemoth. Oh, shut that door back. Get me. Keep my tuna going. Man, this is gonna be good, dude. Lucky clients. Ah, you better get to the table if you're not there yet. Here. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, uh, this is not on the normal menu. Yeah, Just grab you a plate up here in the fork. Special occasion. Okay. Yeah, sir, so, plenty over here. Yeah, it's because it's the wing. I knew it would. Goliath grouper wings. Let's try this out. Oh, man. It's like really juicy chicken kind of, man. Amazing. Delicious. The outside, that skin, that kind of crust is really good. Super moist. I was a little worried. We've been cooking it for five hours, basically, low and slow. I was worried it'd be dried out. Not at all. Super moist, super juicy. This was such an experiment. Like, we had no idea if this was going to be good or not. I was like, we should feed it to clients. And he was, he was real skeptical. He's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Good. Put some of that sauce it's so good. Man, that's some of the favorite fish I've had here. That's good. We need to start doing that with, with the room tail, bro. Room tail wings? That is good, you guys. You guys, if you're filleting your fish and throwing away the rest of it, you're doing yourself a disservice. Cut out the wings, roast it on the grill, nice and slow. That's some of the better pieces of fish I've had here in a long time. Man. I'm like shoveling it in my mouth, man. That's good. <laughs> you guys, those Goliath grouper wings, 
is some of the best fish I have ever eaten here at Los Buzos, which is saying a lot. We are routinely eating incredible fish here with incredible chefs preparing it. That was some of the best fish I've ever had. The crust on the outside and the juicy white meat on the inside. My, I just ate a, too much of it. My mouth is watering just thinking about it again. That was phenomenal. We will now be doing that with our broomtail grouper. If you have any fish, we do the same thing with redfish. Redfish throats, we call it. There's a lot of meat that gets wasted when you fillet a fish and goodness gracious, what a crime it is. That was so amazing. The clients are raving about it. We warned them beforehand, we've never done this. We don't know. Don't hold this against us if it's bad and they're all like fighting over the last scraps right now. Incredible. Now we're about to do our kind of safety logistics meeting with this new group of clients, but I think here in the episode, coming up next, we're gonna show you guys how we're gonna use that fish stock that we made into a soup. And that'll be the third way that we're using this Goliath grouper. We're gonna end up using it more ways, but I'm only here for so long to share this with you guys. But Goliath grouper, you guys, put it on the menu. I hear that they're about to start allowing tags in Florida to keep a certain amount of Goliath grouper, which I think is a good call. Those fish are overtaking the reefs. They've been protected for too long, in my opinion, and in a lot of charter captains that I've taught to's opinion, but goodness. All these recipes could apply to Goliath grouper, pretty much any white meat fish. You can definitely make fish stock with the skeleton, the carcass of any fish. You should be doing it. It's a waste not to. So I think that's coming up next. I don't know. I don't edit this stuff in real time, obviously, right? So I think you're about to see us making some soup with this Goliath grouper fish stock that we made today, but goodness gracious, how good has it been? I'm excited to try the soup next. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Thanks for coming along on the journey. It's a little culinary adventure. More good stuff coming up. So we're starting off with the main ingredient to start of the show, and that's the fish stock. As you guys saw, it's boiled down the carcass, making a fish stock, reducing that down. Got a lot of fishy flavor in it. So now the first step for making this soup, then we're gonna throw these potatoes, these diced up potatoes, into some baking grease. Really hot, we're gonna kind of cook these down, get them nice and soft. Now we're gonna add those potatoes to the soup. And now that we got the potatoes done, we're gonna throw a stick of butter, a whole stick of butter. Now we're, you know, you gotta proportion this out for your portion sizes. We're gonna put a whole stick of butter into this pan with a bunch of celery and onions, wide onion. And we're gonna cook this down so the onions are kind of see-through, break them down all the way. Once the onions and celery are done, we're gonna throw those into the pot with the potatoes, let that keep cooking down, breaking that stuff down. Now to the pot, we got the onions, the celery, the potatoes in there, all that. Now we're gonna add some oyster sauce, some fish sauce, and the cilantro. We're gonna throw all that in there, let it keep cooking down, keep cooking down. That's the key here. Lots of time. It takes lots of time to make a good soup. We're also gonna throw a stick of butter in there just for good measure, make sure that this, this soup is nice and rich. And now it's time to add the bacon. Cannot go wrong, any soup you ever make. Throw this, some bacon in there, it's gonna be good. Now notice we've not put anything in there with any salt. The oyster sauce, the fish sauce, the bacon, it's all got salt, the butter. We're not gonna add salt to the very end. Of course, it's trusting me to taste the soup so far. No salt needed, it's perfect. But it's not too salty, it's perfect. All right, so all the ingredients here have been cooking down. It's looking delicious. We just tasted it. It tastes amazing. Now it's time to add the fish. And we're using Wahoo in this case, but again, you can use any kind of seafood. doesn't matter, but this is kind of one of the last steps here. Really, the only thing left is the whipping cream, and then we're just going to salt it to taste. Oh, right, I'm just going to kind of poach that, let it fall apart a little bit, and then I'm all... How long do you think for that with the fish? What about another 15 minutes? 15 minutes? Okay. All right, guys, what a day. What a day. Rooster fish hat trick, the first one I know of in Los Buzos history. Three rooster fish in one day. Gigantic Goliath grouper. Now, again, these fish are protected in Florida. You can't even take them out of the water. We are in Panama. They are terrorizing reefs in Florida. I'd say most charter captains would agree they should no longer be protected. There should be a season for them. There's too many of them. So I do not feel bad that we kept the one a day. Still, the boys tried to release it. It didn't work out. The fish died. 
now us and the next group and the group after that and a few groups after that and some of our neighbors are going to be eating good. For this group, we're frying it up, battering it, frying it, putting in flour with some Tony's, a little taste of Louisiana here in Panama, super simple. I, I know it's going to be phenomenal. Gruber, literally, my mouth is watering just thinking about it right now. It's going to be an amazing dinner. I'm excited for this. Goliath Grouper, I know you've never seen a catch and cook Goliath Grouper before, and we're about to enjoy an incredible meal that was brought up by one of our clients, Scott. Can't wait to let you guys know how this is. I've never eaten Goliath Grouper before, that's for sure. Beautiful white meat. Look at this. All right, all right, all right. Goliath Grouper going down. It already smells amazing. Ooh wee! Hey, rico. Taste test. He's asking me to test it. Woo. It's hot. Holy goodness, it's hot. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha! 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 You guys, delicious. Oh wow, look at that, you guys. Beautiful white meat, golden, crispy, brown, wow. We're going down. Gracias, amigo. Que rico. Delicious, you guys. I'm gonna get out of Ruben's way, leave him to it. I'm gonna take my whiskey with me. It's the last day of the trip. Fried fish is good, you guys. Spoiler alert. It's so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, we're giving you content for your blooper reel. Right, right. Glide grouper, first time I've ever eaten it. I don't know about you guys. I do know about you guys. You've not eaten it. I'm excited for this. I don't know about the oven, but it's amazing, right? It's amazing, right? Yeah. Delicious. The perfect texture, the Tony's and flour, can't go wrong. Goliath Grouper, guys, next time you catch one, don't keep it. <laughs> You're not allowed to. <laughs> but if you want to come to Panama and have a Goliath Grouper, it is fantastic. Man, that's good. We were very concerned that this wouldn't be good. It's a big fish. A lot of times big fish are really tough. It is not tough at all. It's amazing. Man, I'm normally like a tartar sauce nut, but I don't need it. It doesn't need it. Can't recommend it enough. What an incredible day. I don't know that we'll be releasing too many glass after this one. We've only ever caught two here in Lodge history. Josh Maddox caught one from the kayak, 50 pounds, about two years ago. We released that one because he caught it shallow. This one we caught from too deep, just didn't make it back down. But I'm not that mad about it. Delicious. All right, guys, well, what an incredible day. What an incredible evening. What an incredible week with this group of clients. Cannot say enough about these guys. This will not be the last time you see us cooking up this Goliath grouper. Frying it, to me, just doesn't do the fish justice. We're gonna cook it up another way. That'll be coming up soon, but for now, guys, for this episode, 
what just what a great time great group i love this place los buzos panama you guys if you want to come out here and do this with us be a client come fishing with us in the land of giants you can do it send an email to info at losebuzos.com if you have any questions but all the information can be found at losbuzos.com check it out everything from which fish you catch which months what you need to bring how it's all going to work the logistics it's all on there go check it out learn more my weeks are available they sell out quite a bit in advance so if you'd like to join me here get on it jump on it i'd love to see you out here but for now guys that's all the time we have Till next week, it's been a pleasure. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe and, and turn on bell notifications if you feel like it. It doesn't matter to me. We're going to be here having a good time. I'd love to have you back every week. But if not, no hard feelings. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. It means the world to me. But I'm going to get back. We're all having a good time. I'm going to get back hanging out with these guys. Thank you again. I appreciate it. Until next time, guys. Adios. Ciao. Gracias.